In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a new website using the artificial intelligence editor and moving into the full editor to complete the site. So first thing we do is we go create new site and choose the category. Um, I'm not sure how many AI templates there are in the other categories, so I'm just going to use business because I know for sure that they do have them in there. And this is where you choose to either start from Wix ADI or to create the red website with the editor. And that's where you would choose a complete template. I'm going to go start now. And then it asks, what type of site do we want to create? I'm going to be creating a website for a um, funeral registry. Okay, so um, you click next after you pick a category that's close to what it is you're trying to do. And then um, it has check boxes for you to check the things that you want it to add to your site. And so this is the part that's really cool about AI is that it's gonna do as much layout for us as possible with, um, with what we tell it. Um, and like your email address, if we give it the right email address, it's gonna, um, make all of the email links work and same thing with the social links um, it's going to try to get the colors from the logo which we don't have a logo yet so I'm just going to use text um, but you'll see very cool and um, so we're going to want to have bookings in the site a blog we'll want an online store and um, we'll probably need a, a video gallery to show examples of um, drone photography and videography that's done during funerals. I video bookings, blogs, and online store. So I'm gonna click next. And it's asking what the name of our business is. It is Passing Prep. And do we wanna import images and text from an existing site? So if the business had existed and there was already a live website, we can put the domain name in here or the Google map location here, and it'll try to pull in as much information from that existing site as it can. We don't have an existing site, and so I'm just gonna to go to next. And it says review and edit your info. So if we had a logo, we would enter it here. And um, you know what, maybe I'll just use something in the meantime. Um, so I'm just going to use this logo for now. For social accounts, I'm just I'm kind of making these things up as I go. <laughs> so the um, Facebook uh, link would be slash passing prep and we'll want Instagram to the LinkedIn would be let's go to next so continue want to create a color palette from your logo um, we want to skip that and so now we it's asking us to pick our favorite home page design and so this is it kind of you know trying to give us um, our branding a feel sometimes I really you know pay more attention to where the logo is in the header like if it's centered menu centered so if it's more of like a centered plan or if it's um, left flesh like this and um, you know or if it's a dark background or a light background so um, I kind of gravitate more towards this one we can add any other pages that we want to add to the site. So I'm going to add an about us page, um, um, services, and I'll say plan ahead. I like that. Okay. So 
so now I'm gonna go to edit site okay so now we are in the AI tool and you'll see it looks a little bit different than um, the regular editor like you've got your sitemap up here and you don't have the shortcuts on the side right here so I'm just gonna go through and do some top line changes you roll over any one of these areas it just functions more like strips so every strip has um, tools within it so there's some things you can't do in AI but then there's other things that are way easier to do in AI which is why I always start from here so now I'm looking at the middle area here like this strip and I want to change this one so when you click on the strip it brings up different layout options and the one that I liked I like this one it was like a clean opening for the first thing that people see um, this strip, you know, we're going to have products, but they're not as important. So I don't think they need to be this high. So when I click on this area, we get an option to move up or down. I'm going to move these down below the next strip. Okay, so this is our video um, gallery. This one, I want to have a different layout. I want to do the channel because we want to show um, samples of what we can do and that just looked like it was a photo gallery so I'm changing this to a channel gallery and I'm going to do full width And I'm fine with the colors because I don't know what I'm going to use right now. Um, contact us. Okay, so I wanted to show um, our phone number, the site email address, our actual address, and the form, and our social accounts. So I'm going to um, add an actual contact page because I don't think we have one. I'm going to move to a new page. If we were moving it to a page that already existed, we would just choose from the drop down, but this is going to be a new page. And so I just click move. And it creates its, an, its own page for contact formatted the way that we just set it up. Now I need to go back to the home page area if I click in here it gives me access to change any text that's already set up in here so I'm gonna say a good way to move on create a specific page for this item and I want it the item to be Funeral hosting and coordination. And then I want to create a page from that specific item. So that page is designed. So now I'm going to go back to home and back into this area because I want to make pages for the other two top line categories too. Preparing ahead of time and I'm going to make a page for that item. And then I also want to add some strips on this page. So when you're on a specific page that you've created, you can add a section to it. So I'm going to say add a section to page. And then when your sections come up of strip options here, um, 
wherever you drag it is where it's going to bring it within the site. So I think I'm going to just choose this services strip. Go to the third one, advanced planning. Let's go out and um, we'll publish what we have so far. And this is passing prep, publish and continue. And so now if we view site, you can see the shell of the site that we just did. But we've got plenty of like content in here, plenty of layouts that we can start from to, to add more pages or really just delete them if it's, you know, something that turns out we don't really need. This is why I start from AI. Um, FAQ. The other reason that I love this is it gives you um, pre-made text with your company name in it and that it thinks might fit for what you're actually offering. I think it's easier to do the, like put things in drop downs and rename them on the regular editor side. And so that's the reason why I'm leaving this as it is. And then I wanted to add buttons to these. So if I go here, I click to show a button and you can change the text on it. Um, for now, just leaving it. I am going to link that to funeral hosting and coordination. And um, if I go to the second service there, it it's intuitive. So it assumes that I'm wanting to link it to this. So that's why it says preparing ahead of time right there. And then the third one should act the same. It should link to save photo and video messages in here. So the fonts to me in that script were too small. And so you can't really um, change one specific area of the fonts in this tool, but you can say make all of the fonts large um, or extra large. And then what it does is it adjusts all of them throughout to um, kind of balance better. So now I'm going to say go to editor. So um, you want to try to do everything that you need to do or that you can do at like on a broad level on the artificial intelligence tool side. So I'm going to say switch to editor. And so now we're, you know, this looks like home, right? This is all the stuff that's uh, familiar and I'm publish site, take notes in my notepad of what I want to change starting from the home page and then go back through, make all my changes, publish, and there you go.